realized it was unlisted. So let me make sure it's public. Oh, it must be public. I got a comment already. Wow, that was fast. So let me go back on my laptop again. I got to do my whole re intro again. I just had this whole intro and it was wasted. So I am going to try to do a live stream. Wait, back that up a little bit. I'm going to do a live stream. I'm at, hold on, let me go there again. So according to YouTube, I'm at 99,000. Oh, it just went up right then. 99,956 subscribers. Um, so it got here a lot faster than I thought. This week's been a really fast week. Oh, wait. It went back down to 99,955. 9, so I just lost one. Oh, I lost another one. It went down to 54. This thing goes up and down. It's going crazy. So anyways, I'm going to try to, if it goes fast, uh, maybe talk till it gets to 100,000. Um, if not, it should be at 100,000 maybe by tomorrow. Had a really uh, good week as far as YouTube growth. Uh, went up really fast. Um, oh, okay. So I'm going to go here on my, I got this on my phone up here. And I'm just going to let it run. Hopefully the view is okay. Because my laptop doesn't have a camera. So I'm going to have it off my phone. And I'm going to go to my laptop and try to watch it so I can see the comments. Hasn't showed up yet. Let me try that again. So I can, I don't, because I can't, I can see it on my phone, but I can't really keep up with it. I'm gonna try to keep up with the comments and eat some snacks. I'm just eating some chips here and relaxing. So if you came for anything really exciting, it probably won't have anything really exciting. Is that it? Found it. Now I gotta find out where the comments are. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm working here. How do you read the comments? Oh, I gotta go to it. I'm on. I'm about to pick this up. All righty, we're there. I don't want to watch myself. Okay, wow, we have 130 people watching, says. Let me turn the volume down so I can let it play. Okay, so I'm gonna, if you have any questions or comments, I'm gonna try to sit here and talk for a while. If I can't get to your comment, Sorry, I'll try to. Uh, 138 people. Wow, that's awesome. So let me recap. And I will give you the play-by-play -play on my channel. 99,957 subscribers. And I'm going to do a video um, tomorrow. I don't know. I'll try to get one out pretty soon. And uh, I got an idea for my 100,000 subscriber video. I was trying to think of something cool. And I was talking to... Uh, some friends and, and I came up with some ideas. So I'm gonna try to do a little like throwback video and go maybe go to a place that's like maybe really recognizable to, to you know, some people that have seen a lot of the videos. So I might try to do that. That may be kind of cool. Um, so let me go through a few comments here. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions for what I should, if there is something I should do for my 100,000 subscriber, like maybe like since it's a, a big deal, I can't get comfortable here. If, since it's a pretty big deal, it's a pretty big deal to me, that maybe uh, I should buy something? Is there something I should buy? Is there a place I should go fish that I haven't fished yet? Um, can you hear me okay? Is everything going on there? Oh, I'm just, I'm just trying to get comfortable here. I got my broken couch. That, ooh. Okay, I'll try to kick the camera. All right, let me know if that's um, clear. And you can see everything there. Let me go back to the beginning. Hello. Hey, Bill's Fishing Adventure. What's up, Bill? Hey, right, glad you got on here. And let's see here. I have not edited. I even started on editing. Oh, wait. I can't remember if I started on that one or not. I've got like a bunch of videos I'm trying to edit before I leave. I'm going to go to Indiana um, next week for a really quick trip. Just just a real quick up in there. What's up, Josh? Bass and Beer. What's up, my man? We need to get together and do some fishing. I just got the thing. Uh, Josh, uh, his channel is Bass and Beer. Fished with him a bunch of times. 
and um, we got we're going to have a state tournament coming up on Watts Bar. I actually went out on Watts Bar today to check out a place. I lost like a three pound large mouth. <laughs> I watched it set the hook, and then the hook just comes out. I don't, I don't even know what happened. But I found the place that I might might work. It might have some fish in there. It was real shallow, and I found of course a little creek channel to kayak up into. So we uh, we need to get together and um, try to do some fishing. I need to hit a few more places. I don't know nothing about Watts Bar. There's so many places. It's a huge, you know, it's a huge lake like um, like Chickamauga and a lot of these other ones. There's just so many different places, and hopefully they as they, they say in the fall time the fish go up shallow. So as a state tournament coming up, I'm hoping the fish are up shallow eating, and I'll be able to catch something. Because I'm not very good at lake fishing. I just go out there and try to find fish. Hi from Florida, Bryce. What's up, James? Straight to the point outdoors. How's it going? Evan, Marvin, fishing preacher. All right, I'm gonna go through a few. I can't, you know, just have full on conversation with everybody, but I'll I'll try to pick out some people and um, answer some of the questions. Uh, there's gonna probably be a lot. <laughs> Josh, easy work. I don't think so. I, I've been doing the YouTube now. I've, I made I started making videos in the summer of 2016 so over five years but it's a lot faster than a lot of people a lot of people have done it for years and years and it doesn't grow so i was definitely blessed to be able to get to where i'm at i definitely don't think it's something that i'm like yeah i figured this out uh i, I definitely thank the lord for blessing me and let me be able to do this because i know that i'm not and you know, i like just great at youtube and got it all figured out what's up fish hawk we got to get back together. Fish Hawk, I thought you were going to pass it before me. Um, he's been in Alaska. Oh, I don't know if I should say that. Sorry. He's Well, yeah, actually, your videos are already out. So he's been in Alaska uh, fishing. So he probably hadn't been able to make as very many videos. But once you start kicking out more videos, that's what, I know that's what happened. I started getting a bunch of videos out here recently, and it kind of jumped really quick. But that, that's a big part of growing on YouTube, just continually putting out videos. If you, if you have time where you're not getting very many out, you're just not reaching new people. But um, hopefully we can definitely do some more. That was I was I was talking about that fishing trip in Virginia uh, today with a guy talking about how much how much smallmouth there was in some of those rivers up there, and it was just it's a really cool area. Yeah, uh, Art says the chat will lag. Thursday. Yeah, I'm gonna be way behind on the um, comments probably, and I'm probably just gonna go at my own pace. Uh, what's up, Trey the fisherman? Yeah, I'm about there. Annihilator air guns. I bought my first kayak, uh, fishing kayak last week. Can't get it without some water. Can't I can't read either. Can't wait to get some time on the water. That's right. Yeah, kayaking. If you're into, like, if you want to get into kayak fishing and just, dude, it just takes practice. I, like I said, I went out today and I lost a couple fish because I was paddling into a bite. I try to set the hook, but you're already you're like losing ground, so you lose um, leverage. And it can be really tricky. I'm definitely going to have to upsize my rod. I was using a 6'6 medium. And I'm definitely going to get a 7 foot medium before the tournament. Just to give me a little more leverage on hook sets. Especially in a kayak. I think you need more leverage. Thank you, cameraman Ron. I will ho hopefully have our video out pretty soon. I went fishing with cameraman Ron the other day. Had a great time. He gave me some really good tips. And he also gave me a good shout out. Which really bumped me up right here. So we're gonna pass up a hundred thousand, I think, pretty soon. Let me go take a take a look. Uh, wait, 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 wait! Just went up ninety nine thousand nine hundred sixty four. So if you come on and off, or you're watching um, and you don't have time to see me sit around and just talk, that's fine. Appreciate all the support when everybody somebody gets on there and just gets a uh, comment and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just going to kind of go through here. If somebody has questions, I'm just kind of going to walk through here. But I'm also asking for suggestions. I got a video kind of planned for my for my 100,000 like subscriber video saying like I finally made it and probably going to do like a little throwback, go go somewhere that I've been to a lot of times, just do some real simple stuff like like I do. But if you have any uh, suggestions or anything, maybe, maybe a place I should go or something I should buy or something I should like kind of for the next step as I hit 100,000 and kind of grow, Maybe a Mountain Dew sponsorship? Like, I, 
I'd take that. It'd save me a lot of money right there. Um, any, anything like that, if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear it. Or maybe an idea, maybe a throwback, or, or maybe a, you know something I've never done before, maybe something new. I don't even know. But I'd like to hear any ideas. I know y'all are creative people out there. Matt, do you ever use Rebel Lures? Uh, yes. I don't know if that's a joke or serious. If you're serious, I love Rebel Lures. If it's a joke, good joke. Because I use them all the time. Um, and well, a lot of my, or maybe not as much as I used to, but I do use them a lot. And a lot of my early videos, I use them a ton. The Rebel Crick Hopper, Rebel Craw. I have a big Crick, I don't know if anybody's ever used a big Crick Hopper. I haven't seen it used a lot. I've used it a couple times, but I bought one today I want to do a video on. And I think it's, it's either sitting over there on the, on the shelf or it's in my truck, but I want to do a video on that. Uh, what's up, Patrick, Mike. NKR Fishing, thank you very much. Fish Smack, what's up? Uh, we got to get together too. That's another guy I need to get with. And uh, yeah, I watched Fish Smack's video where he uh, had lot. He's just started using Nico Huggermeyer, so he's come around. He's come a long way. But um, he he lost a fish. Um, he had broke off, and then he caught that fish again. Then he he broke off again. But the line broke, and he found the line and went and pulled the fish in. It was, it was crazy. I don't even know how that happened. Um, Tim Hahn Fishing, what's your favorite book in the Bible? It would probably have to be, I don't know if I have a favorite. One of the New Testaments, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. I just love reading the Gospels. Um, it's so, the, you know, the stories and just the life, uh, the, you know, life of Jesus. I, I don't know. Those are the ones that I, I really enjoy. It's just, I, I don't know. There's a, every, time, every time you go through them, you know, you're, you're, you are you're read another story, like one of the miracles or something, or a parable that you're like, oh, I didn't really catch that before, or you learn new things. Those are really fun, and I love teaching those kind of things in, like, Children's Church, whenever I uh, teach or preach there. So, you know, it's, it's just fun to do the stories from the New Testament. Okay, Eric says, I started watching you at 70,000. Thank you very much. Uh, da, da, da. Hello from Michigan, Noah. Let's see here, we got some dumb comments. Let's see. Wow, from New Zealand. What's up, Vin? It's 1.21 p.m. Friday. What? That's crazy. It's 9.32, where it's 9.32 at night. What is that? 12, 13, 14, 15 hours difference? You're you're already into Friday and we're still in Thursday night in New Zealand. That's crazy. I never think about things like that, but I guess that's the way it is. Got the timelines. Uh, D, uh, Del, Delta Falcon says, you should do some trip to the Rockies and fish some small mountain, ooh, mountain creeks. Dude, I didn't think about going like the Rockies or something like that, that'd be crazy. If there's audio problems or visual problems, let me know. Somebody say something in there. Um, because I'm doing it off my phone, recording off my phone, and going through the comments on my laptop. So I'm a little behind. Uh, so. You made the baseline move. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, 686 the man. Oh, we must have been talking about, I put a little highlight in my basketball game the other day. Dude, well, the team was terrible. So I didn't have a lot of highlights because I didn't, usually I score a little bit more, at least take a lot more shots. Uh, this team, this team, we, we, we beat really easy by like 50 points. Um, I used to be really quick on my feet. I've, I'm slow now. And I used to be able to dunk. I know you always hear this from old people. I could dunk very easily. Um, I was a one-footed jumper. So I would jump a left foot, I could just kill it easily, um, dunk uh, one hand, and I could easily do two hand. And then after high school, I kind of worked on my two foot jump, and I could do a two hand, two foot jump, just barely get that down. But I tried dunking the other day, and I'm like missing it, I'm just barely grabbing the rim. I have no strength left, I've gotten out of basketball shape for sure, and I need to, I need to do more. Stuff like that, but I do love me some basketball. Um, let's see here. 
Hello from Arkansas. Oh, oh, I did something. I messed up something else. I may, I may, uh, it's a good chance I'll be skipping a lot of people because there's a lot of comments and I just did something. Hello from Texas. Somebody says, where Eli says, where do you live? I live in Tennessee. Name, name. 632 on the West Coast. 632. Yeah, they're three hours behind, right? Yeah. Uh, that's right, because all the NBA games, I'll be watching a game. It's like, uh, it won't start till like 1030 or 11 here. And I, it's like midnight or one a lot of times when these games are over. Uh, let's see. Holla from Houston. Grouper Hooper. That's a good name. Uh, Michael Ski. Bon Predator. Yes. Hugger Mites and Cali Flies are fire in Kentucky. Kansas are here. Time to leave. Um, hmm. Let's go. This is Josh. I've been watching your videos. You're a good creek fisherman. I have creeks near at Graysville, Dayton, Tennessee. Yes, Joshua. There's a lot of creeks in that area and some good ones. And I fished a lot of them in Dayton and Spring City. And Graysville is just below that, that area. You should try fishing Beaver Creek. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I don't want to say all of these places. Uh, that was Joshua. The other one was Skyler. Steven Sellers. Any creeks to kayak near Saudi Daisy? Yes, there is. Um, there's several public ones in the Chattanooga area. Look up. I don't want to just say a lot of these places. Uh, some people get aggravated when you do that. But there are several public act creeks um, running into the lake or the river. And there's public parks all around that area. Um, all, a lot of times all you got to do is, like, do, um, you know, oh, man, I just messed it up. Public areas or public uh, canoe canoe launches. So put in, like, type in canoe launches Chattanooga. I bet you'll find something. I'm about to do that right now. All right, this is how easy a lot of times it is to find. This We'll do, a, we'll do this little test here. Let's go to Google. I'm going to go Chattanooga, Tennessee, canoe, access, and what does it bring up? Showing canoe access. Boat access area. It's got a little, it's got directions. Coolidge Park, North Chickamauga Creek. Uh, there's three places right there. And it took me three minutes. Yeah, use Google, people. There's so many places that are public, public knowledge. You just got to type in the right words. Um, type in boat ramps, canoe accesses, kayak accesses. That's, I'll, I'll type in the name of a river. Like, say, Tennessee River, kayak access, canoe access. And I do that all the time. I go to, I go to a new place or a new river. I'll just go there and um, type in, you know, the name of the river and kayak access. And I'll find, a lot of times I'll find the area and, um, there's a lot, you know, a lot of public information on there. Um, let's see here. Alaska trip says Rodney outdoors. Yeah. I, uh, fish hawk just went on Alaska trip. We talked about that before he went there, but he's been putting out some videos from that. It looks insane. Like out there's some of the places that, Oh, what? Somebody gave money. Hold on a second. I did turn on Super Chats. I didn't know it worked. Wow, thanks so much. Cast about. Just a small token of thanks for the inspiration. Started a channel this year after getting into your videos. Also, thanks for introducing me to Nico. Well, you're welcome. Someone, I think someone else gave. Hold on. I might have missed someone's. Why did I, where did I see? I saw something where somebody get. I thought I saw a $5 thing. If you gave $5, you're awesome. Uh, I did turn on super chats. Super chats. I've got several uh, friends that are doing this a lot. They're doing live streams, and I've never turned it on before because I kind of felt weird. Somebody just giving money. But if it's something you want to do, I I just want to make it clear I'm not asking for it, and I don't even want you to do it unless you really want to do it because um, it feels weird, and it, I don't want to feel obligated to have to read your comment or have to. Uh, do something and you're, you'd be like, I gave $5 and you didn't even notice me. 
So I'll probably try to mention that a few times, but I know a lot of people they've asked me, a lot of people have asked me to do it. So it's there. If you want to give a dollar, million dollars, you know, just know YouTube takes a good percentage of it. But I will use that money and use it for something like going on a trip to the Rockies or Alaska. Alaska trip? I don't know. Um, I would love to go to Alaska. Catching a lot of the a lot of the fish they have in Alaska aren't fish that I really want to target. Probably. I mean, I don't I don't trout fish that much, and there's salmon. I, although it, it looks crazy. It's Fish Hawk had a video. He's standing in water, and there's all these red fish. I think they're salmon. I don't even know what they are. There's just tons of them they're everywhere in this water it looks it looks ridiculous but that was pretty cool stephen kick check out cross point church sermons with randy westberg some of the best and deepest theology and doctrine out there wow appreciate that cross cross point church cross point that sounds familiar i don't know if that's around here or not but it does sound familiar um i'm from the Cole says, I'm from the mountains, North Carolina, close to where you're from. It's close to Evo. Yeah. Yeah, I even got into North Carolina. I'm on, I live in East Tennessee, down in, if, you, if you're looking at Tennessee, I am down in the bottom right corner, like Chattanooga, and I'm even further right than that. So that area um, is just, I'm not, I'm like 30 minutes from North Carolina. I'm 20 minutes from Georgia. I think like 30 or like 45 minutes from Alabama and I I can't even get to all the places around me in Tennessee and there's so much west of me middle Tennessee has got so many good creeks rivers uh, I haven't even been to West Tennessee I haven't fished at all in West Tennessee um, so there's so many places around this area um, but it is you can't just find them all in one day it's taken me years and years and years to find the places I got to I, the, the video I did yesterday I put out yesterday was a creek that I, I remember seeing it like two years ago and I finally got to it. Um, and it was amazing, it was insane. Like if you haven't seen that video, not the fishing, the fishing was, oh, well the fishing was good, but the the um, scenery and just like the place was at, it was like, it was like I took a, took a million pictures for postcards there. It was crazy. Um, come to Michigan, uh, Gory Boggs. Uh, I know where some smallies are. Yes, I, I wanted to do that this summer. And a lot of this, it depends on finances. Like, I make money from YouTube, which is a, a pretty good amount. I'm not making, like, billions of dollars or anything. But I make a good amount of money. But I almost spend all, I pretty much spend it all <laughs> every month on trips. Like, if I make a little bit more this month, I'll spend, I'll go on more trips. I got two trips coming up that I'm kind of doing them pretty quickly i'm gonna go it'd be like a two-day fishing trip and i'm coming right back i don't like missing weekends i do a lot of stuff in my church so i don't like missing a lot of uh, sundays but a lot of um a lot of the trips they I mean obviously it costs money so the, the more i make the hopefully the bigger trips that i will be able to get to do and bigger trips i don't mean going out and doing like extravagant things but just going to explore more places um, and going up to Michigan, I'd love to go up to Michigan and, and, you know, and just maybe fish with some people, but also just like, see what I can come across. Just stop at some bridges and like, what's, what's under a bridge in Michigan? Or is it, you know, what's, what's right beneath, you know, where you drive over? I just like doing that kind of things. Um, Oklahoma Rockies, very good idea. Skyler Blaine. You should try Beaver. Yeah, um, I will try that soon. Beaver Creek and Bristol. Tyler Smith in Chattanooga. What's up, man? Love your stuff. Wish we know which creeks you hit up. Yes, I wish I could share a lot of the creeks, but I can't. It's just the way it is. Um, I if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably have a better idea where a lot of places are. I try to post a lot of things, but I even, I've gotten I I fished at a river the other day. That's like a very well-known rivers, and I posted it on Instagram. Had like three people message me, like, "Dude, take that down! Don't share what that is." I'm like, everybody knows that, you know, these fish are here, you know, and it wasn't an easy fish to go after. It was stripers. So, but I don't want to make people mad. And a lot of these creeks I do go to, they there's not a lot of public access, so a, this thing is crooked. I rate me. There's not a lot of public access, so I don't want to put people somewhere where they're like, 
oh, I got caught for trespassing and I got shot by a farmer. So I'm very particular where I go. I'm not trying to, I don't go anywhere where I, uh, there's no trespassing signs like that. But a lot of places, there, if you just know fishing, especially in Tennessee and these kind of country towns, there's places that everybody goes. Is it technically trespassing? Probably. But, um, uh, like, but, but the farmers and stuff, they don't care. Like, it'll be through a farmland or something, and they're, they, they're not going to, they don't mind, you know, stuff like that. So, a lot of places, I, and, they're, and they're real small. Like, I don't want to tell a bunch of people, like, put them, everybody on, put a bunch of people in one place. Even if 10 people go fish this place in a couple weekends, um, it can mess up some stuff. So, there's plenty of places out there if you look around. But it takes work. It, it definitely takes work. You have to put the time in. Um, but once you find that place, it's so rewarding. You're like, oh, I get this all to myself? This is awesome. I put the work in. I drove around. I went out here and scouted this place. I saw it on the maps. I drove to the bridge. Couldn't get access to that bridge. So I drove to the next bridge. And I found a little pull-off place. And it looked like it's a public access. And I, and I, you know, I kept working and working. Um, there's, there's a creek right now that I feel like is the best smallmouth fishing creek that I know of and I can't access it. There's one bridge, I, well I can access one part of it. There's like 15 miles of awesome, awesome creek that I, I don't know how to get access to. Um, it's a little ways away too, so that's part of it. I, I, would, I wanna go start like just knocking on people's doors and asking if I can get in there, but you know, sometimes you just, that's why they make, the, that's why those streams are really good. If everybody's fishing them, it's gonna be tough. Um, <laughs> Uh, Mike Wheeler says, John, it's about time to get Justin back paddling and fishing these creeks. I know. I need to get him back on something sketchy. He's getting a little too comfortable catching all those giant catfish. Justin is kayak catfish, and he has been cranking out the videos. I don't know what that dude does. All he does is catch giants and puts it on YouTube. But, yeah, I need to get him back and do some uh, some stuff he's not comfortable with, some, back, some skinnier water uh, little things. Hopefully he doesn't do any more flipping. Thank you, Donald Police, coming in loud and clear. Glad you can hear. Um, let me recap real quick. So uh, we are 215 people watching. Um, what was I gonna say? We've been, does it say how long we've been live? I don't, can't tell. We've been live for, oh wow, like 30 minutes already. Um, we've been live for like 30 minutes. So I am almost 100,000 subscribers. I'm going over here to check. <gasps> Dude, I got this little countdown thing going on. 99,996 subscribers. Dude, we're, we're gonna pass it. I didn't know if we were gonna pass 100,000 tonight. I thought maybe tomorrow. We're gonna pass it tonight. And that's why I was, I thought it was gonna be like another week, but this week has been a really, really good week. I had a couple of older videos like from a month or two ago, or they're like getting really good traction. It's the one where, one of the videos is where I went and fished a little ditch and filmed it. Um, with my, uh, in, a, in the fish tank, I put fish in a fish tank, which I want to do that more often. I want to do several videos like that, but that video is like doing really good and getting really good views right now. Um, and I'm getting a lot of subscribers from that. So I've had a, this week I've had a lot of subscribers, uh, just like all of a sudden come on my revenue bumped up this week and my views. So all that, all that works together. If I'm getting subscribers and getting views, my revenue goes up, like it all, you know, kind of adds together and what will happen in the winter time, it slows down, but Oh, it's, all right, we're going to watch it all together. Come on, click over. All right, hold on, hold on, we're about there. We're about to, can you see that? We're about to click over to 100,000. I'm going to share it live. One more person. That's all I need. Somebody subscribe. Tell your friends. Boom. Oh, we couldn't even have a make it perfect 100,000. There it is. All right, 100,000 and one. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> I'm just looking at that. That doesn't even look real. It's like, how can you have that many people watch creek fishing? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> it's funny to do it too live. So, um, man, I don't even know what to say. It looks so totally different now that it actually happened. Oh, that's why I need a drink of this. All right, man. Uh, all right, so let me go a little, give a little... What's it called? A little, I know, I guess a speech. Let me give a speech. Let me give something here, man. I am so thankful for everything that I've been able to get and um, be able to do through YouTube. All the 
uh, everything is given me. Uh, first off, I gotta thank the Lord for allowing me to do this. And I have a lot of friends that have YouTube channels that aren't as big as this. I have friends that have bigger channels. Um, I, you know, I'm not gonna, I, I definitely can't say that. Yeah, I figured it out and I solved the problem. You can't do it. It's, it's definitely not something like that. It's, um, it's just, I'm just thankful for where I'm at and somehow Lord allowed me to do this. And I've, I've two years now, I've, let's see here. Yeah, actually this is, this is also the two, two year anniversary of when I quit my job. It was in the second week of September. I think it was, yeah, it was, it, it may be like exactly two years ago. Yeah. When I quit my job and, um, I've gotten to travel around. I've gotten to fish with all kinds of people. I've gotten to meet tons of people. I get to do these kayak tournaments. I have time to go do that. Um, I've gotten to use my time to help other people out and do other things. I've worked at a couple um, vacation Bible schools. We did a basketball camp the other day. It was something I got to go do. I, the, the ability, the privileges, and just opportunities I've had to be able to do this um, for a couple years now, if it, if it like if tomorrow YouTube's like, all right, we can't monetize and you're not gonna be able to make any money. I would be like, okay, <laughs> let me let me go find something to make money on. And I would uh, had a blast just doing this, just the ability. It's it's crazy the ability I've, I've been able to do this. So, you know, I know there's a, there's a bunch of people commenting on here and dude, I can't thank y'all enough. It was definitely a group effort. It's not like, yeah, I did this on my own. It took people willing to help and support me and tell me good job or I like this video. Buddies from my old, from Springdale that I worked with, like that were uh, encouraging me to do this and like, yeah, it's a good idea. You should go for it. You know, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's a, it's been a wild, unexpected thing. Something that I never could have seen, you know, five, five years ago when I started, when I made my first video, I never could have seen we have already been doing this two years. I can never could have seen me quitting my job and making enough to live off of when it started. It's a little hobby that turned into a, a uh, what do you call it? Full-time um, supporting um, thing that I do. I don't, I don't know, I'm not good with words. But yeah, it's I'm looking at it right now, it says 100,006. That's just, um, that's crazy. So I got a, I got a video Oh, oh, drop back down. 100,002. Uh, I got a video I'm going to do tomorrow. Okay, one more look. One more look and we're going back. So, we made it. We're over 100,000. I got a video I'm, I'm probably going to try to do tomorrow if I don't, if I can get up early enough. And it's a little throwback video. I hope I'm going to kind of have some fun with it and try to do, like I say, like a thank, thank you for 100,000 subscribers. I got an idea where I'm going to go back to a couple places that probably I've been to several times, like kind of a reoccurring places. And um, there's another place I'm going to ask if I can get on there. But, um, all right, let me go back to comments. All right, I'm going to try to catch back up. Oh, but if you have any suggestions of what I'll read, hopefully I'll try to read these comments later. I won't be able to read them all right now. But if you have any suggestions of what I should do for 100,000 subscribers, maybe I should buy something. I'm probably not, I know people want to do a giveaway. I'm probably not going to do a giveaway because it, like picking one person, it usually just goes to somebody that doesn't need it or, that person never gets back to me. I've done several giveaways and I'll try to give, and people never get back to me. So I'll end up giving it to somebody else. So I, you can believe that I give stuff away all the time. I have several people that ask me for things that I haven't given to. And I got several people that have asked me for things that I have given stuff to. And I got several people that don't ask for stuff that I give stuff to. I gave stuff, uh, that frog fishing video the other day that I did with those, um, some of the boys from my church. I gave two or three uh, reels and rods away. And... You know, right now I'm not working with any um, dealers on rod and reels. Um, I was with PC Fun, or I was working with PC Fun, and we ended that contract last month. And they uh, they did they did great. I was that was a great thing. They they reached out to me really early, and that was they actually uh, I I signed up or I started working with them right after I quit my job, and that helped you know give me some income there. Um, but if if I end up going with another rod and reel company, I'll probably have a bunch of stuff I'll give away to the other people, but. Uh, probably not doing a, like a giveaway, like a traditional one, but if you're lucky enough to be related to me, you'll probably get something. Uh, let's see here. All right, I'm going back. I'm going to go back to comments. Somebody else gave $10. Steven Kick. Click. 
Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did I already read that one? Yeah, did you? YouTube channel out of Minnesota. Check out Crosspoint Sermons. All right, thank you. All right, let's go back to some comments here. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to start where I left off, I'm not sure. And I'm just going to start rolling through it. What's the best TV Okay. Uh, Northern Virginia here. Eric Rodney, Outdoors, Alaska Trip. I should do that. All right, maybe Alaska. Uh, Cole Doolittle, Up in the Mountains. Oh, I already read these. Uh, how am I, where am I going here? I'm behind. Andrew Brent, what is your favorite fish ever caught? Ooh, that's a good one. Like my favorite, like catch or like species. I mean, right now it's definitely smallmouth bass. I'm like on this smallmouth kick where I probably won't get off of it for a while, but I love catching some creek or river smallmouth. Um, my favorite catch ever. That's a, I don't even know. I can't. I can't. Well, when I, I there is a smallmouth, one of the, the biggest, like a couple biggest smallmouths ever caught. One with both of them actually with um, Tyler Reed Angling. One was on his boat, and one we were waiting, and I caught. A, both of them were over four pounds. That's pretty memorable. Uh, I was fishing with my buddy Seth, and I hooked a um, like a 10, 12 pound carp in a creek. That was crazy. The musky catch, where I caught a musky on a Helgramite. As it was getting dark, didn't even have my camera on. That was insane. That was like the most unpredictable catch. Uh, I I need to go for some more musky. Um, I caught my I caught my PB bass, six pound bass with um, Aaron Aaron's outdoors. That was pretty random. I was like, uh, I wasn't even not expecting that. There's oh my, I, if I was starting to go through like memorable fish catches, it would go forever i got so i think you know i don't know that like i got so many catches that are just like stuck in my mind like i'm not i, I mean maybe one day i forget them but it's like that was that wasn't crazy you know so many just different little crazy things uh the first time i ever caught two fish on one, on one lure was a small mouth and a red breast <laughs> on the same little teeny r um and then like the next week i caught two spotted bass on a crankbait it was like that's the that's the only time it's ever happened to me like it was in two times within a week. Uh, I, I don't know. There's a, there's so many things. I don't want to even want to start thinking about all that. It'll take forever. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. Let's go. Ski says the S waiver 168 is great. I don't have a, I need to get into the bigger swim baits. I don't even have a swim bait rod. I need to, that's something I'm wanting to do. I want to get into like swim baits more. And I'm, I want to learn everything I can learn about fishing. Like, I want to just do more and more and more. Um, Bucks and Bass TV, Ohio trip. I just caught a six pounder. Wow, they're hammering here. That's nice. Edward Paddock, congrats from Michigan. Oh, something happened. Oh, bro, oh Rob Anderson, the bass you caught from the shore and dike. Yeah, how could I forget the five pounder I caught? I caught a five pound largemouth, which was my PB at the time, off the bank while they're having a bass tournament going on. Like you could see it in the background. It, that was wild. They're having a bass tournament going on. I'm over here fishing off the bank, catch a five pound largemouth. That, <laughs> that was so crazy. Uh, Zeke says, what's your PB fish? Like fish in general, I guess catfish. I caught a 27 pound catfish and like a 26 pound. That's my biggest catfish. Uh, biggest fish, I guess. I've gone on a charter trip and caught like a 18 pound striper. Biggest largemouth, six pounds, two ounces. Biggest smallmouth is 4.65 pounds. Spotted bass is 4.3 pounds. Um, and then biggest creek chub, I don't know. I caught some big ones. Yeah, hey Seth, you're on here. That carp was crazy. Um, so I'm in, David says I'm in northeastern Ohio. The hugger mice seems too big for the smallmouth. I have access to any suggestions or something similar. Oh yeah, so the small the the hugger mice. I have talked to people where they the, if the three inch lure is seems too it is can be too big for some size bass. Sometimes they won't take it all the way. Just cut it in half. 
makes a great lure, even better cut in half, and it'll last forever. But um, yeah, especially if there's a lot of smaller smallmouth, and I've done that for trout and uh, for bass. Um, oh, uh, speaking of catches, when I went down and caught my first peacock bass in, in uh, Miami area, and then when I went to the Everglades, and he's just, there's so many fish. First Oscar, um, just up, uh, that, that, that's, I, I can't wait till it gets cold so I have a reason to go south again. Um, so I can go to, go to the Everglades and stuff and just, you can just stand on the bank and just catch all kinds of stuff. Uh, Adam says, you ever gone noodling? Ooh, maybe I should do that for a hundred thousand. No, but I would go with someone that knew what they were doing. If, if they were confident, cause I'm not confident in myself, but if they were confident that I could do it, then I would, I would trust them. Uh, I think you missed the vintage, but you have given the Texas rig anytime yet. I don't like text. I don't know. Like Texas rig is just like weedless, right? I don't even know. Like Texas rig, what? Like with a weight on it, or I guess they're thinking like Texas rig. I guess it's like a weight. And I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I've used I weedless like um, young dingers all the time, and sometimes with a jig head on it. A one fishing family hard work pays off. Yes, it does. Jean Jean says, "Hey John, your sportsman one hundred and twenty. Do you think a one hundred and ten would suit your style better?" The, uh, what is it? the 106 is the smaller one. And yes, I love my Old Town kayak. That Old Town sent that to me. So they, 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 that was something that's something that happened just because I have this YouTube channel. They're like, yes, we'll send you a kayak because you're going to put it on a video. So they sent me a, a Old Town Sports in 120. Used it today. Love it. I would like a 106. It's a foot and a half shorter. And I think it would suit me better for a lot of stuff I do because I, today, I, had a, I, I, I put I, I put my kayak in like the most craziest places you can put it in. I'm putting it anywhere I can get it. I don't care if I have to scratch it and drag it up rocks. If I can get it there, I'm going to put it in there because you can explore so much more water off a kayak. And the old town is so stable. I just, I feel really comfortable on it. I'm hoping to get a 1.6. I actually reached back out to them and um, they said, they're way behind. If you're trying to get one, you can't even get one. But if they don't send me one, I probably will end up buying one maybe next spring because I think it would be a lot easier to carry around back my truck, load up, um, stuff like that. So that's a really a really good kayak. Jed Franklin, congrats on 100K. Been watched since 10K. Don't know if you remember me, but my family used to be... Oh, what's up, Jed? Yeah. They, yeah, I used to uh, be over at the church that I'm at now. What's up, man? Hey, I really appreciate you watching. And I never did. We were supposed to get together and fish, I think. And we can still try to do that. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Ever go for speckled trout and redfish, says Cannonball Red. Um, yes, I caught some speckled trout in Florida. In not Florida. In North Carolina. Some people like told me like kind of places where to go and I caught some. I didn't know how delicate they are. They are very delicate and I think I killed them. <laughs> so I think I killed a few of the, no, is that the speckled trout? I'm thinking the Spanish mackerel. The Spanish mackerel I didn't get to catch. I went for speckled trout and we ate those when I went with Blake in South Georgia. And I've, I have never really gone for redfish, but I would like to do that. Radford says, what's your PB green sunfish? Oh, yo, I've got some big green sunfish, which is an idea. A green sunfish is actually like one of my favorite like fish. They're just a creek fish. I don't know. That's like what I, I identify that. I think they were just like, if you had to ask them what kind of fish they were, they'd be like, yeah, I'm a creek fish. Um, I got an idea to use that green sunfish logo for something I want to do for some new, new stuff. Uh, MY fishes, that's a big spot. Yeah, four four pound, three ounce is a big spot of bass, but the Alabama spotted bass get bigger than the Kentuckys. So they're um, like from where I'm at down in the North Georgia area, there's some there's some really big spotted bass. The lake near me has some really big ones. Uh, our state record spotted bass is seven pounds and it was caught uh, like 30 minutes from where I live. Maybe, maybe an hour, but pretty close to where I live. So I, I really want to upsize my 
spotted bass just because there's so many here and there's some big ones. Uh, Captain Cry says, congrats on 100K. Uh, this thing keeps jumping around. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure I'm missing people. Oh, hey, Brett. My Tucson 7 and 24 caught their first smallies on the Hugger Mountain Creek. Yes, sir. It'll work. Uh, Hilts 007 says, thoughts on the Wacky Worm setup? Any better recommended setup? Well, yeah, I love Wacky Worm. If you watch Bass uh, people, they say it is awesome. I know uh, Alex Rudd, like, that's his go-to. <laughs> and it just catches fish. That's what they, that they say. I, I will hook them up weedless a lot of times. Like, I really love a four-inch Yumdinger uh, weedless, weightless. And you can throw it into anything and pull it back out. It's not going to get hung up. Just like a three or four-aught hook. Um, throw it in and it, uh, you know, you can you can let it sink real slow. It still has a lot of, it doesn't have as much action, but it still has a lot. I've caught, that's like my one of my go-tos, a four-inch Yumdinger. I've caught so many fish on it. I just have so much confidence in it. And that's usually what I start out in these tournaments and stuff I do. I start out with that because I just it just catches fish. Um, wacky rigged or or not. Uh, it's it's a four inch or the five inch. You know you can go up whatever. I'm I'm trying to use new stuff and I, I watch a lot of bass fishing videos. I, I'm not a bass fisherman. I don't know hardly anything about like bass fishing. Like people that do this a lot. Um, but I'm trying to learn. Uh, real life. Family Fishing says, Noodling with Hannah Barron. Yeah. Uh, Random Stuff in Ohio says that also. Yeah, that would be crazy. They definitely know what they're doing. I would trust them. They they know what they're doing. And um, I feel like they... I've seen them take other people out. And that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Cameron says, We'll be at the Cherokee National Forest October 13th and 9th through the kayaks. My best friend messaged you last... When we were there... We messaged you last year when we were there and always watch your videos. Let's fish. Oh, uh, yeah. Message me again as later. Because I, I, I don't want to act like I'm too good for anybody, but I have a lot of messages that people want me to fish, and I am terrible about remembering them. So if you're in the area, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll say this. If you're in the area and you want to try to meet up, message me. If I never reply... Or I, I get back to you after you've already left. That happens too. I'm not going through my messages every day. It's it's too much to keep up with. Um, I'll go through them every, every two to three days a lot of times. But if you're around and you're like, and, you, and you're going somewhere already, I'll try to meet up with you or maybe suggest somewhere else. Uh, I've done that several times. Doesn't always put it in a video. Uh, sometimes it's a terrible day of fishing. Wow. Thanks, B. Thomas. Been watching since nearly since you started. So glad you're able to do what you love. Do what you love for a living. Yeah. Show them Jesus. Thank you. Um, but yeah, if who said that? Cameron. Yeah. So yeah, Instagram probably the best. Um, I will try to work it out. I I have got. I can't even. I got. My, I got a, like a couple of buddies that I, I fish with a lot. They want me to go fishing with them, and I can't even fish with them for like. Next two or three weeks, I got so many different little things I'm trying to get done. Plus, I have to edit videos. That takes a lot of work too. So, I I try to meet with who I can, but I, I'm not gonna be able to meet with everybody. But I'll definitely try to help you out if I can. Uh, Howard Harstein says, "Have you ever gone down rigging? I caught a 21 pink lake trout from 70 feet down. Nope, never tried that." I don't even know how, I, would, I mean, I don't have any kind of electronics to do anything. I don't know if you have to do that. I don't know where fish would be at. That's a deep fish, 70 feet down. Um, howdy, chicken fried steak. Uh, so, well, that's, a, you, that's an awesome YouTube channel, st channel name. Chicken fried steak. That's what I'm talking about making me hungry right now. Uh, would you consider doing a trip to another country like Australia once travel starts up again? Jesse, travel starts up again? I thought you could already travel. I go everywhere I want to go around here. That's a good thing about Tennessee. But I don't know. Yes, Australia would be insane. Um, if I could like, you know, I've never 
flown anywhere, never been out of the country. So I'd have to kind of like, you know, obviously going to Australia is a long flight, but uh, yeah, I, I would I would go anywhere I I would go anywhere possible to catch fish or just explore if it, if I could work it out and if you know if I knew what I was going or had people to guide me stuff like that. So you ever fish in Northwest Arkansas in the Ozarks crossbow outdoors? Yes, dude, awesome place. What's that river? Oh man, I just I can't remember. Um, there's a river up there that I went fishing with. Uh, oh my god, I can't think of his name now. There's a YouTuber in Arkansas I fished with, uh, Eric uh, Catch. Oh, I can't think of his name. If it comes back to me, we we fished a couple places, and I, I did a couple creeks. Um, and southern. Two years ago, I went to southern. Um, what's the state above Arkansas? Whatever it is, I can't think now. But dude, there's there's just like some gorgeous rivers and creeks up there. It's like I went I was I went down this um I found I don't even know I just kind of was driving through it, found this place, pulled off, it led me down this dirt road to the river, and it's just crystal clear water, rocky bottom. I'm like in this huge gorge. It's, it was just it was awesome. I I really want to go back and do that more. Like I I've said before, there's a million places that I want to go tomorrow but I cannot get to every place and it's crazy fisherman 83 how many kayak tournaments are you planning to fish next year well I this is my first year doing it and what they do the group I kind of fish with um, because I got some friends that are fishing in it they do a once a month tournament but I, then I, I, I follow a lot of guys on Instagram and I'm like just fish this tournament just fish this tournament I'm like I don't even know about these tournaments. There's a lot of tournaments out there and a lot of stuff. You have to kind of really search for them and figure out how to find them and stuff like that. It's a lot, a lot of it's on Facebook. But there's a local group uh, that's closer to me, actually. A little bit closer than the one that I fish with. That I might try fishing with them some. Um, and they're around Chattanooga area. All right. Thomas. Thank you very much. Paul, random stuff in Ohio. Thanks, man. Or woman. Didn't have a gender on it. Appreciate that. Uh, Furbrand and the van can. You might not be a pro, but you fish, and that's what counts. Yep, fishing's fun, no matter if you're good at it or not. Here, here, the wacky rig. I've been doing very well in Central Ohio lakes, ponds, even caught a 12 inch crappie on one. Goodness. Mr. Paul, that's a big crappie on him. And I don't even know how I got it. Walk your no, I've never fished the Harpeth River, Jack. I think I saw that comment earlier. But I want to. <laughs> that's another river that's like three hours away. Or maybe less, two and a half hours away, probably. And I'm like, yeah, I need to get there and kayak that. I need to do that and I haven't done it yet. Uh, wow. Bella Gerentz. Been watching since 8K. Congrats on 100K. All right, I'm probably going to end this in a few more minutes. Let's go back to the... Oh, we haven't grown any. Wait, 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 wait. Wow. All right, so we are 100,024 subscribers. It's awesome to sit here. And maybe you were sitting here at the moment that we crossed over to 100,000. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the people that have commented. We even got people that gave money, which is crazy because you could probably find something better to do with your money. I don't know, but I'm sure I will use it for fishing. You can guarantee that. Uh, well, Lamb Kupar, greetings from Shillong, Northeast Indiana. What? Yes. Love your videos and just watched your video featuring cameraman Ron. Yeah, his video. I haven't put mine out yet. It was great. Yes, I have made over 100,000 subscribers and I appreciate it. Crooked Creek. Yes. In North Carolina uh, or Northern Oregon. Yep, I fished it one time. I stopped there and waited some, caught a few smallmouths, a couple uh, rock bass, which I guess are they still called rock bass, but they're called um, Arkansas rock bass or something like that because they're different species. The smallmouth and the rock bass are actually different species than the smallmouth and rock bass over here in Tennessee. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. But yes, I caught both of those. 
so that was pretty neat. Um, that is a gorgeous creek. Well, it's like a river. It's pretty good size. Oh, I saw some trout in there too. Uh, I know there's trout in there, but I saw like a couple swimming. I was like, hey. And um, yeah, I did that uh, a few months ago. That was pretty fun. Charles Cook, hello. Let me know when you're in Bowling Green, Kentucky, my birth city area. Uh, we have several places. Of, yes, I know some places in Bowling Green area that I really want to fish. I got some family. I got a lot of family that live in Bowling Green area. And I got some friends that I'd really like to get over there and fish with. I don't know why I haven't done it. Just You see how many videos I put out? I put out videos, like three videos a week at least. And I still can't even catch up to all the places I want to go to within, say, within a four-hour drive. There's so many places. I, it's it's awesome for what I do, especially for um, all these little, because I love all these little streams. And, like, one, I don't even consider, like, some places, it'll be, like, a different section of a creek or river that's different. I don't even consider that the same place. That's, like, a, like this one over here is way different than this one. You know, it's its own little habitat, you know, and little area to fish. All right, here's a good question. Uh, Offlix says, if you could only keep one rod and reel from your current arsenal, what would you reach for? If I had one, had to have one rod and reel to fish with, and that's all I could use, I guarantee I'm going to go with my Abu Garcia Veritas 6'6 medium, and it's got a Revo X reel. It's like a $200 combo if you put them together 12 pound braid i got 10 pound fluorocarbon leader i've caught that's, that's so comfortable to use now i'm thinking about upsizing to a seven foot for tournaments but i love using that six six for waiting and for just anything it's just it's just a great size with the 12 pound braid i can throw little lures if i need to i can throw topwater lures if i need to i can do a lot it can handle a lot of fish. I've caught so many fish with that setup. That's like my really my go-to setup now. I love fishing with the medium light because it's really fun. But I've I've learned that the hook set just isn't that isn't as good as I want it, especially in a kayak. And out of a kayak, it's a lot easier. Or out of a boat, it's even better because you got you got a lot more leverage going up. If I fish out of a boat, I probably would use medium lights a little bit more. But yeah. Probably going to go with 6.6 six medium. Catch anything I want to catch that I fish for anyways. Oh, Thomas says, best hidden spot around here. Just look for kayak signs. Jay Patterson, you need to be on standby next week. Yeah, so my buddy Jay, <laughs> uh, he's one of the ones that got me really, like really was encouraged me to do these videos and um, that I worked with doing heat and air. He's like, he, like three weeks ago, he's like, I'm going to, I'm taking off this week. You want to go fishing? I was like, yeah. He's like, I was like, yeah, I'm free. He's like, all right, I'm probably going to do two or three trips. I'm like, all right, two weeks go by. <laughs> he called, he messaged me back and I was like, oh yeah, I accidentally scheduled a trip during that time, <laughs> but I'm still going to fish with him. I had a, another trip that I forgot. I forgot all about it. And it was something that I wouldn't get to do very often. So I'm like, I've got, I got to do this. So I kind of bumped him a couple days, but we're still getting together. We're getting, we're going to do some stuff. Hopefully he wants to do the one thing I really want to do, but we'll see what happens. White River or Buffalo River. That's the ones in, um, I think I've been to the white. Oh, I have fished off the White River. I caught a, I caught a large mouth, a creek off the White River when I was driving through Arkansas. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Hazard can take fishing. What's up, man? Hello from Hazard. Ever been around here? No, I have not been to Hazard. I have watched the movie, the show Justified, so I feel like I've been there. Would you love to show you some good spots on the North Fork? Yeah, I know that there's some really good fish in the area. I need to get around there. We should do that. If you ever do come down to Australia, I can show you ropes of fishing down here, Jesse. Or Jesse says. Dude, that's what I need. Uh, yeah. I, I need to go to Missouri. Or, uh, I mean, Australia. David Hunter says Kadu, uh, the Kadu River. Yep. Have I fished the Kadu River? I can't remember. Missouri is the state above Arkansas. I'm way behind now, I know. All right, uh, let me skip ahead here. Fish smack. Have a great evening, John. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Um, are we at the top? Oh, I think we're I think we're all cut up. I think I skipped a bunch. 
Braid or mono, Wayne Jewel says. Hey, Wayne. Thanks so much for commenting. Thanks so much for watching. He's been watching forever. Uh, if I had to use one line, I don't know what this was referring to, but if I had to use like one line for the rest of my life, I'd probably just use mono. It's so versatile. I like using braid with the fluorocarbon leader because I love the sensitivity of it. And plus you can downsize the braid and cast further um, with more strength. And the braid, braid, the sensitivity braid is awesome. But if I'm just picking, if I have to go with like one line, I'll probably just go pick some like mono line, like eight pound mono or something like that, or six pound. I don't know. I really like six pound. I've had had a break a few times, but um, this, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, somebody says why braided line. Well, you need to try it out. That's why uh, braided line is st stronger for the size. So, 10 pound mono compared to 10 pound braid. 10 pound mono is gonna be like five times thicker. So obviously you can cast further with the braid. But braid can cut very easy. If you use 10 pound braid around a lot of places where I'm fishing, I've learned this by experience that I didn't know. I would use braided line and it's run across a rock and cut really, really fast. Like crazy fast. I'm like, why well, the line cut so fast? I'm like, oh, braid cuts really easy on rocks and things. But that's why you add a leader line. So say I, I use like a lot of like I'm gonna cast a lure that I would usually use six pound line, six pound mono for. I'm gonna go over to ten pound braid or twelve pound braid, put a ten pound fluorocarbon leader, and I'm gonna cast further than I can cast with a six pound line. So there and the sensitivity is crazy. If you're trying to set a hook into something, it's very direct. There's no stretch. Which is good and bad. Some people, some lures you want stretch, so. but it's I like to use it. Uh, Jake Applegate Eight says a Koei or Hawassi. Uh, uh, I don't know what the question is or referring to, but both are great. If you want to go whitewater rafting, go down the Koei. If you want to go trout fishing, go to the Hawassi. Um, if you want to go catch smallmouth, you can catch them on both. In certain places, you have to kind of go way upstream, and depending on the water flow, they're both controlled by dams. What's the strangest fish you've caught on a lure you should not have caught it on? Uh, I've caught a lot of stuff, like um, the carp, but I mean the muskie on the Helgramite, that was like the, probably the craziest. I mean, I've seen it happen before, but that's just not what I was expecting. Um, that's a good one. I don't know. I caught so many different little random fish that I was just like, where'd that come from? Uh, Pastor Justin says, if you only had one bait to use, oh, you're making me pick. I mean, I gotta go with the Helgramite because my favorite fish right now is smallmouth and streams and it's like the perfect lure for it. Plus, if I want to cut it down and make it smaller, I could do that. So an eco Helgramite, probably, if I had to pick one lure, that's all I could ever use. For the rest of my life, I got. I mean, I, I don't know how I'm not going to go with the Nico Helgramite because it gets it, it gets the job done for my favorite fish to go after, which is creek and river small smallmouth. Plus, it catches about everything else in the world. Um, you ever fished the Kings River in Arkansas? No, I haven't lost it. Where'd it go? I just I saw it and then I lost it. Whoever uh, crossbow outdoors? Nope. Thank you, thank you. Favorite color of Helgramite. Mud bug, I think is the color. Mud bug, obsidian, natural. Then the brown. That's my four. Those those four are there. I feel like could work pretty much any, especially clear water. But yeah, the mud bug's like a dark brown. Obsidian's a super dark black. The natural is a black. That's not quite as like th thick dark. It's like a I don't even know what you call it. And then the brown is just a solid brown. All four of those, I feel like, work um, in, like, clear water, clearest water. I mean, you're not going to be throwing it in muddy water pretty much anyway. So, yeah, though, you can't go wrong with any of those. Braid's good. Sticks to everything. Three rods. What you got rigged up on them? Oh, my goodness. All right. I'll answer this one. Three rods. What do you have rigged up on them? All right. So, I went fishing today. This is my new kind of setup for kayaking. We'll just do my kayaking setup because I don't carry around three rods when I'm wading or something. I got my 6'6 medium, 12 pound braid, 
And I, what did I have on that today? That's either my Helgramite rod or my Yumninger rod. I was fishing a little murky water today, so I think I had a Yum, I, I can't remember what I did. I think I had a Yumninger, I'm like a four inch Yumninger or the Helgramite on that. Something real simple, lightweight, one 15 ounce jig head, one uh, eight ounce at the most, probably not even that heavy. Usually something really lightweight. I can flip it in little places and pitch it and just let it sink slow. Um, I, I've kind of got, got a dedicated now, kind of a dedicated uh, crankbait rod. I'm really liking, I love flowing this uh, bomber, was it bomber? Flat A, yeah, I think it's a bomber. Bomber Flat A, um, shallow diving crankbait. Just, it's black and white. I got like the bass color, I think it is. And I got a uh, 610 medium spinning rod and I got 12 pound mono on it. I've been I've been learning. They're supposed to, I guess, a treble hook lure is supposed to use like a mono or a fluorocarbon, I think, because it has a little stretch. So I'm really liking the way it casts on this rod. I caught a nice drum on it today. Oh yeah. Um. So I, that's my that's the other one I'm gonna have, and then I'm gonna have a medium heavy. Uh, seven foot Abbe Garcia Vertos medium heavy. Um, with twenty pound braid, and that's my my spinning rod setup and my bigger lure setup. Sometimes uh, or top water. I need to convert probably one of those to a like a bait caster, but I just don't want to learn how to use a bait caster, I guess. Um, but I do want to start using a bait caster for like bigger lures. What knot do you use for the braid to leader? Double uni knot, U N I. It's a uni knot on this end and a uni knot on this end. You just pull it together and it cinches up really good. The uni knot is about the only knot I use for everything now. It doesn't burn the line. It's great for little like two pound or four pound line. You will not burn it. Or like, you know, if you've tied a knot, you pull it and you tighten and it has like a little, uh, like, I don't even know what it's called, a little curve to it. And sometimes it, you can even break your line. It's like, like if you use two pound, especially, uh, you can even break it because it's like gets hot. So the uni knot does not do that. It doesn't get hot on it. Not, not really, unless you do it really fast, I guess, but um, really like that. Not very easy, and I feel like it works good. Uh, wow, well, I'll just skip ahead. Um, hold on. Evan's family home setting outdoors going fishing tomorrow. Hey, stay tuned for the video. Oh, Mojo Dojo, remember the big trout on the Whopper Plopper. Talk about unexpected. I caught a 20 inch rainbow trout on a Whopper Plopper. I, it was the crazy, it was a crazy bike. I remember watching this wave come and just barely nibbled it and he barely got the back trebles. Um, so that was, uh, that's a, that's one of those, they were like, what, how did that even happen? I mean, I don't know if people, people catch fish on trout. Do people catch trout on Whopper Ploppers? I don't know if that's something that's, I've never heard of it happening before. I mean, everything I'm sure is happening, but. Oh, uh, Rogelio says, what's your opinion on the Rebel Helgramite? I like it, don't love it. It's a suspended lure, has a lot of the same action as a Crick Hopper. So I kind of just, we'll just go with the Crick Hopper. I've caught fish on the Rebel Helgramite. Whenever I've used it, it works. Maybe I don't know how to use it that well. It like it's more of a jerk, um, and I, it might even work better. But if you jerk it, it just kind of suspends. Um, it'll work. It definitely. It, I've caught several fish on it, and I've used it a few times. Um, apple cider or hot chocolate? What what's up with this? Kayla says, apple cider or hot chocolate? Apple cider is gross. <laughs> definitely hot chocolate, but not too hot. More like a mild chocolate. I'm not a can't have it too strong. Um, this guy, uh, Lee says, the strangest fish he caught was a 14 pound channel cat on a leech fly. What is a leech fly? Kayla also says, flannels or cozy socks? What are flannels? I don't know what that is. All right, I guess cozy socks. I don't, I don't know. I gotta have my feet warm. Feet get cold. You're not, you're not comfortable. Uh, Roger says, congrats on 100,000. All right. I'm going to go to the end here. Congratulations on 100,000. 
What's the most fish you have caught on one Helgramite? More than I can count or keep up with. I don't even, I don't count my fish. That's another thing. I never keep up with how many fish I've caught. You, if, at the end of the day, it could have been, a, it could, I could have, I couldn't tell you if I caught 10 or 20 fish most of the time. Like, I have, I'm like, I don't know. If, if I caught like two, I'll know. But if I caught, if I catch more than eight or 10, I'll be like, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 fish. Just kidding. I try not to, I, I definitely try not to exaggerate because everybody does. It's so easy to be like, yeah, we caught like 20, 30 fish a piece. And you actually caught like 12. Um, so if people tell, anyway, here, here's a little fun fact for you. If somebody tells you how many fish they caught, know that they're lying. Just, just go ahead and knock it, knock it down. Unless they're having like an exact number. Like every once in a while, someone's like, we caught 27 fish. I'm like, okay, you must have been counting. Um, I had a day where I caught over 50 fish. I, I, I guess it's probably the same Helgramite. 50 smallmouth in one day. I mean, they were most of them were real small. Like, no, it wasn't the same Helgramite because it got broke off, so it couldn't have been the same one. But I've caught, you can catch, I've caught, you know, 20, 30 fish easy on the same Helgramite and probably used it again and did the same thing and probably a few times until I either lost it or something. I mean, they don't, they barely, you have to, they really take a long time to wear out. Like, and they don't even wear out totally. They kind of just break down after you've caught like a million fish and they're about, you know, there's, and you still use it. But yeah, a bunch. So hi from Max, hi from North Carolina. Uh, Kevin says, do you like the taste of bass or bluegill better? I don't know. I don't eat fish. I'm too lazy for that. I can go buy food. I'm not a like fish cooker eater, stuff like that. I, I'll, I'll eat them. I love it when somebody else makes them for me. Uh, Dustin says, have you used cotton cordell lures? Yeah, I've used a few. Uh, not a lot. I have used a few. Mojo Dojo says, have you ever used or found live Helgramites? Yes, several times. I need to do another one. I've, I've found, I've, I've caught several by hand, like, or found them, and I've used several for bait, and they are awesome. Probably the best thing you can use. Better than worms. Like, the fish, I, I think it's a, something about the scent of it, too. Like, you can take a half of one and stick it on a hook, and you, they cannot turn it down. All right, Zeke says, can you try fishing for pike? Yes. I hopefully will do that soon. I talked to a guy today, and he's going to try to put me on a pike next week. It'll probably be a few weeks before the video comes out, so hopefully that works. I've never caught a pike. I've caught redfin pickerel. I've caught one muskie. I've had two muskie break me off. Um, by ran random just hits. That, that was crazy. Um, I've hooked a what, chain pickerel twice and they've come off. Never caught a chain pickerel. So hopefully Pike is coming soon and that will be awesome. All right, I'm going to end this live stream. Let's go. Let's get a little uh, recount of where we're at. And what's it say? 31 people over so uh yeah so um man i am very very thankful for everyone that was on here tonight and yeah thanks for hanging out with me been here since forty thousand. says crankmaster appreciate it, everybody dude some people gave some money um i'm what if you have maybe the next video i put out i'll try i'll probably ask this again next video but any questions any like suggestions what i should improve on or where I should take my channel to the next, like, to keep growing with it. You know, obviously, I'm just going to do the same thing I'm keep doing. I'm just going to fish every little place I can find a fish and just try catching stuff. Now, is it gonna, is the channel going to stay the same forever? I doubt it. I probably will do more kayak fishing, probably get into more tournament fishing. You know, it's something I'm really liking. Um, that's going to take away. I've even thought about buying a boat. I don't know. It might happen. Um, we'll, we'll see. I, I, there's a couple reasons I want to vote. It might not even be for, it may not even do a lot of videos off of it, but I, I, I kind of want to vote. Um, but I might have to buy a new house first because this house is tiny. Uh, I, I, I've been, I'm kind of in the market for looking for a new house. Um, that's something I've been wanting to think about for a while and I've been, I'm saving money and I'm kind of waiting until the end of the year to see how my taxes go and everything. And I should be good for that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And uh, watermelon Mountain Dew. Haven't had the watermelon Mountain Dew yet. I don't know if I'm if, I, if I'm ready to try that. It may. I like the uh, 
red, what's the red Mountain Dew? I really like that one. But anyways, uh, I'll, I'll try to read the rest of these comments. Thanks so much for the help. Thanks so much for the 100,000 subscribers and the people that have been telling their friends and helping me out and I, people send me lures. I got, I got a bunch of lures, new lures that some people send in. I'm gonna, I need to try them out. I need to get them in videos. Um, there's just, y'all y'all have done a lot for me to help me where I'm at now. And I'm um, really thankful for that. And I'm not, hopefully I don't ever take this for granted or just, you know, blow it off. But um, I'm, I'm gonna end this video. I can talk forever, I guess, and not make any sense. So, 378 people like this video. One person disliked it. Thank you very much. You know what? Even if you don't like the video, just hit the dislike button because that helps me out. But no, I don't care. Um, I I can't believe 100,000 people have subscribed because I really didn't think this many people would like my kind of channel. And, um, oh yeah, I'll, 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 I'll leave you with one last little thing. This guy, John says, just don't turn into a Guggen. I've even, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I'll never change how I am and how I do videos, I don't think. But I hope, to, I would love to collaborate with guys, the Guggen guys or any other guys. Those, like I, I watch a lot and I see a lot and I know more than a lot of people that are watching just because I know YouTubers and I know different guys through different guys. I'm starting to, I don't know everybody, but I, I'm starting to know, you know, different people. And there's lots of guys I would love to fish with. It doesn't mean I'm going to do their style or do this or that. I'm, o I'm only going to do my own style. But I know a lot of people give a lot of hate to a lot of guys out there. And the bigger I get, the more hate I will get. And that's just how it is. Um, there's so many people that, that hate on other people. It, that People can do any anything they want to do. I made a video here recently. It's kind of like a little parody of like a overhyped uh, challenge video. And, I, and it wasn't even based on really on fishing. It was like... There's, there's so many other type of videos out there that are way overhyped. But if and but there's a lot of guys that do these type of videos, you know what? And they're making good money and getting good views doing it. And that's what they like to do. If that's what they want to do, that's what then I don't care. They they're not gonna make me upset or I'm not gonna think that they're terrible people. They're, you know, just because if they've done it and they're successful at it, they're they're doing something right and they know what they're doing. So hopefully I will get to meet with different people. I love to fish with lots of different people and because every everybody I meet with I learn something from every every youtuber that I've met with I've learned something to help myself out and a lot of times I mean maybe they might say, give me suggestions that I don't use or or stuff but at least I can ask some questions I, I let me see what kind of camera you're using how do you do this how, how should I do this and I just changed the my way I do thumbnails by fishing with uh, cameraman Ron he gave me a suggestion for I've been wanting to like get better thumbnails like figure out how to do it. He's like, you should go here. Cost ten dollars a month. Blah blah blah. I'm like, I went and signed up on it. Already did two or three thumbnails. Love them. I'm like, I think this is gonna help my channel out. So, uh, the more you do, um, the more I've fished with people. I think the better better it will be. And um, that I think that's for anybody. And it, once you get into doing YouTube, you look at everything differently. As a, as a bystander of someone that just kind of watches, you can look at someone and just be like, this is this guy's an idiot. And then, but if you get to another person, that dude's probably like really good at what he's doing. <laughs> Especially if he's got like 500,000 subscribers. You're like, oh, okay, this guy must actually be pretty good or at least know what's going on. So uh, don't be hating on everybody just because you don't like the way their style is or something, it's fine. If your neighbor, I always think that if your neighbor did YouTube videos, you wouldn't watch his videos. That dude's an idiot. <laughs> you know, whoever your neighbor is, they're always an idiot. You know, you're or you're never gonna. There's not that many people that you actually are gonna are gonna make good videos. Um, I don't even know what I was saying there. But anyways, yeah, I gotta end this video. I'm getting to getting all going on too far. Hopefully, I will be able to uh, meet up with a lot of different subscribers and a lot of different YouTubers coming up. And um, thanks, Carolina Bass Hunter. I still gotta get back out there and fish with you. You've been catching some giant fish. I've been, I've been following it, and uh, you're doing great. Um, Andrew Norby, yeah, I would like to fish with him. I've never talked to him, but he seems like a great guy. So, all right, I'm going to end this out. Thanks so much, and how do I stop it? Oh, I got to get back to eating my chips. Thank you.